<laughs> Tina, where are you? Where are we? We're at Adrenaline Industry. Super fun. We're going to go for a ride. <laughs> Excited. I think this is my favorite. Oh, you like all the room? Yeah. Yeah. And the six wheels. She says she likes the six by six now. <laughs> Six wheels looks so much cooler. <laughs> it sure does. And if you're ever in the sand or you're doing some extreme thing, you're, you know, just it gives you a better breakover angles and stuff too, having, you know, because now your axle's closer rather than on these. I mean, your wheel, them. your wheelbase is only like 150 or whatever inches because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Versus like when I look at the, the long single cab or the 120, it's like a 205 inch wheelbase Wait. and that's the breakover problem. Yeah, we're a shorter wheelbase here because on this one we extended it. We actually, oh, I forgot. We actually extended this one two feet. So this is extended as well. That one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so that wheelbase is 18 to 24 inches longer than normal. And these are both like 2012, right? I think they were 2012. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's only a year, I believe they, they did it. It's the only ones I've seen, the Titans or the Brazos were 2012. Oh, we got a good driveway, huh? <laughs> oh, wait. Look at this thing. It's my home. It's supposed to be like, it's like a used car. Wall. <laughs> oh, you got the pump. Does it work? It must. I call my kids when they move out, and all of a sudden they got to pay for gas. They oh, man. They got free their whole life. No. All right. Well, thanks for the tour, Judd. We'll keep her moving. Is it going to go up? There you go. So I don't know if it's it's stupid expensive, but it's about a $10,000 bumper with the winch, the truck light lights, rigid lights, and these rigid lights, you know, all the fabrication and repowder coating it. Most people build a platform out here and stick the winch out there like a unicorn. We were able to figure out a way to tuck it in and still have the cab tilt through it all. That's right. Usually they're like out. Then you yeah. lose all that your extra foot yeah, out so now. Most you've probably seen, they kind of built oh, a yeah. out here. We were able to custom cut all this and retrofit it all in. We also got the Amber's rigid debt lights down here. You got ditch lights and then, um, but this is an amp step that you'll see. And it, you have to buy, we bought them brand new for the fitment of a Toyota Tundra. And so the course of steps are, you know, three feet long and we cut them down to 10 inches to put them in there, but it <laughs> makes it so much nicer to get in and out of here to have a step that folds out of the way. Because the amp has two pieces, the left and the right going yes. across. Yeah. So do you get two out of one? Yeah, but there's only one module for the Oh, wiring. so you need two. You need both yeah, sides. So yeah. You still got to buy a whole thing. <laughs> All right. You're going to pull this beast out of here? You Might as well. I'll get it recorded from the outside as it starts up. And this is the 6-7? Yes, Cummins. The 6-7 Cummins, yep. This place is so cool, guys. Right? Looks like a toys for adults. All kinds of toys. All kinds of toys. Right? Six by six. B A E twenty twelve. I figured you were pulling up to the pump. Is that what you do at gas stations? <laughs> we don't want to walk home tonight when it runs out of gas. Tina's like, he's going to drive up the grass. I'm like, no way. <laughs> He'll wreck that. <laughs> I fill it up. I'll just put enough in to get us around. <laughs> what are you pulling, like seven miles a gallon? Six? Seven the way I drive it. If somebody's, if somebody's takes it easy, you can get 10. Like 55 miles an hour, you'll get yeah. 9 to 10. There you go. But 
I'm usually 65, kind of on average. Well, it'll go less. What is the gallon on this tank? Or are you multiple tanks on this one? So we took two of the 55 gallon tanks, made one, so we're just over 100. And that's just on the one side? Yeah. Okay. You could add, with, if you wanted to give up some storage, you could add another mm -hmm. tank on the other side. You have plenty of GBW on this truck. We're, we are 6,000 pounds under GBW. Because it's like a 30... 33. 33, okay, yeah. And you could make, you could spring it even higher than that, but you don't really care. There you go. Nobody else is doing outdoor marine speakers. <laughs> 7,000 pound vehicle is not really a slug. It goes down the road pretty good. See, we're just talking normal voices. Yeah. And, and a, you know what? Normally you could never do in a truck like this. 1700 RPM digital dash. Yeah. 